keeping well. Now, for the newcomers to the channel, my name is Gary, and my pronouns are it, nobody, and whoever. And I tell you what, if anyone gets them wrong, I will be phoning the police on you. So, this video is about the technical side of the well. We have got this old pump that was fitted um, during the war, during the Second World War, and that still works. But we wanted a more sort of um, technical way of getting the water up out of the well without all of the um, pumping. So yeah, this video is the technical side of all of the technical stuff that was used to make this very technical project. Let's go. <laughs> Off green water. Fuck you, Anglian water. I no longer need you. So, we're going to look at the electrical side of the water well system first, and then we'll go on to the plumbing side. So what have we got here? We've got two 80 watt, oh, excuse me. We've got two 80 watt solar panels here, each like 12 volts. So it's giving us 160 watts of solar power at 24 volts DC. It's a 24 volt DC system. That goes directly into an isolator switch. So I've then got the ability to isolate the power from here. So I could, have, if I ever want to work on this side, without getting electric shock or shorting anything out. Then that goes into a 5 amp fuse and then directly into the charge controller. Now the charge controller is a very important part of the circuit. It literally protects the batteries and looks after the batteries. So just supposing you've got like a sunny day, lovely sunny day, the batteries then become fully charged from the solar panels then the charge controller will switch the power off of these so it don't overcharge them and damage your batteries. Very important. Now the two batteries, they're 110 amp hours each, 12 volts each battery. They're connected in series as well because it's a 24 volt system. Now on the charge controller we've got a load output thing on there which is directly connected like from the batteries electronically in there to give you like a load output obviously which is then connected to the switch fuse spur there yeah, and that's on 13 amp fuse now then that comes out there and goes into a pressure switch now this pressure switch is connected like through the plumbing sort of on the water side of here there's like a little um, water connection thing there so basically when when you say if you turn the tap on, the pressure drops on the um, the water side of the tap, and um, then it kicks in the pump, turns the pump on. But you turn the tap off, the pressure builds up in the pipes, so the pressure switch then turns off the pump electrically, so we don't damage the pump. It just sort of allows you to control the, the flow of the water and all of that really without damaging the pump. And then obviously that comes out of there straight down to the well pump, which is a 24 volt DC pump. And the wattage of the pump is 260 watts. Now, for the thickos out there who didn't understand a blinking word of that, I'm not going to ask a lot from you. you just, all you've got to do is just sit there, pretend you understand and go, oh yeah, yeah. And then perhaps phone the police and um, the police will put down their least important things to do like um, investigating murder, assault, robbery and things like that and they'll come straight out and deal with me if that's how offended you was. Now let's talk about the, the plumbing side of 
things on this well pump. We'll start at the bottom really, eh? So we've got our, obviously we've got our um, 24 volt DC um, pump there. This pump's stainless steel, but I have noticed that the nuts on the pump that I have got are not stainless steel, so there's a little bit of rust appeared on them. So what I've done is I dripped um, beeswax all over that. Anyway, so there was connections used. What the size of the connections were and all that, I, I don't know. I just went down to the, the hardware store or the hardware place and um, said, look, get me a bit of joining pipe that connects this to that and they sorted it out for me. So, yeah. Now, the, this pipe here that we're using and this bit here is the 25 millimeter MDPE pipe which is like the ordinary standard sort of um, blue hose pipe that you use for um, the mains income in homes and all that probably the mains could be a little bit wider but that's that's the standard pipe now right at the bottom here we've got this a check valve or a non-return valve basically what this does is the pump pumps the water up to the top oh we're going to knock it over pumps the water up to the top and when the pumps stopped working and this taps open the water would tend to just flow back into the well but with this fitted right at the bottom just literally just above the water line of the well that will stop that from happening the system would work terrible without this and the pump the water would just keep falling down and you'd have to wait ages for the water to come back up that keeps the water at the tap level at all times without any backflow an important part so then it comes up here now you see what I've done here that that's where it changes from the MDPE pipe to 22 mil copper pipe which is like another join the chop what I've got from hardware store then this is that pressure switch that I was talking about uh, there's a, like a little T bit there which goes into that then come around there now this bit here is a like stopcock so I've got the ability to turn the water off in case I did need to work on this end because I've got a little T bit here with a, a blanking thing over there at the moment because this T bit is going to go to the house in the future but the conditions are right I've got to get the water correctly tested for all pollutants and bacteria and God knows what a real full examination of the water is going to be done and then I've got to make sure that my well's never going to run dry really and then after that if that all passes we're going to the house and we're going to be disconnecting from the mains water so we're totally off grid for the water one less bill to pay right get your hats and coats on because it's getting a bit chilly around the never regions and um, we'll go outside and what we're going to do is have a look at the um, pressure switch in operation I like this it's quite good now we have our outside tap here and then inside this bit I've got to put a door on that but inside there is the pressure switch now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open and close this tap and that will activate the pressure switch literally as I open it the pressure drops the pump turns on as I close it the pressure builds up the pump turns off <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Let's get back in. Right. <laughs> lemons. We've only got bloody lemons. <laughs> I've been watering that all year from the, the water from the duck pond and it seems to have done it a world of good. I think um, what has actually done it is that the pond water's high in nitrates where the ducks were pooping in it. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I will leave um, down in the descriptions I will leave the 
links to like the pump, the non-return valve, um, the pressure switch and just things like that. I'll leave a link of what I brought from eBay to do this project. So sadly that brings us to the end of another video. I wanted to thank you all so much for supporting the channel and um, I don't accept any cash or anything or any gifts of anyone because we are sort of self-sufficient and that, that's my aim is to do this on myself because some lovely person um, wanted to send me some cash. Mm -mm, sorry. <laughs> But if you do want to support the channel, just let friends know that the channel's here and they can watch it. And also on our eBay shop, link is below again in the description box, you can um, pop along to our eBay shop and see if there's anything on there that you might like to purchase. The stuff on there is very cheap. I believe that eBay gives you the correct selling price for the product. Um, if you put it up for a certain amount and it don't sell on eBay, you've put it up for too much. So we always start off at low, a low starting bid um, to get a fair value and all that. Anyway, I'm waffling, aren't I? So thanks, thanks for popping by, and um, I'll see you on the next video. Good luck with the crap that's going on. Don't let it get you down. See you later.